Hey guys, Nick here with Tech or Duo. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Cloud Station Server under Synology and the actual application on your computer so that you can sync your files and folders back and forth between your Synology. Makes it real nice, simple, creates a backup, and uh, let's get to it. Alright guys, so what you want to do is of course log into your Synology. We're going to go to Package Center. We're going to uh, wait for this to load. All right, so we're going to go down to Backup, Cloud Station Server. So this is my first walkthrough of this as well. So let's go ahead. We're going to go through it together, and uh, we'll test it out. So we're going to let that install. All right, great. So just finished installing. We're going to go ahead and click Open. OK, we'll click Yes. It's going to refresh our page here. We're going to pop right back in. So let's go ahead and click our apps at the top here. Let's go ahead and click Cloud Station Server. All right, so system is healthy. It's enabled. Cloud Station Drive, which we're going to download on our computer a little later. Backup DS Cloud. Client list. OK, so we got nothing there. Settings. Let's see, storage can be enabled web. User sync profiles. So we can actually create profiles here. So, okay, let's go ahead and name this one Nick. Just for me, max style fun. Okay, that's gonna be a zero. I would assume that's just unlimited, basically. Yep, zero being unlimited. We're just gonna leave all that checked. We're gonna click apply. Okay, let's just check, check the edit here. Uh, Double check. All right, so there's admin. There's me. Cancel out. Changes are not saved. All right, let's apply that. Settings applied. Perfect. Okay. So we want to use this one right here. So we're going to go ahead and select our storage, which is where I store all my data. I'm going to click Enable. Maximum versions 32. So just in case there was a file that became corrupt or you lost the file, you can go back and uh, revert those changes. Click OK. OK. Enable 32 versions. Perfect. Great. So we already went through that. We went through this. You know, we let's see. OK. Great. Just click Apply again. Nothing was changed because we didn't do anything there. Great. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and download the, um, the client on my computer now. So let's see where this takes us. Download Cloud Station Drive for Windows. Here we already have it downloaded. We'll click on that. Yes. Okay. Next. Please review terms. I agree. <clears throat> and we want to run that, click finish, minimize, minimize, and let's see, let's let that initialize. Awesome. I want to click start now domain name or quick ID. Alright guys, so after I saw that um, there was a quick connect ID, I went ahead and made myself a Synology account. I then set up the quick connect. So I enabled quick connect um, through the control panel. Went to control panel, hit quick connect, enabled it, logged in with my Synology account, um, got a quick ID, and now I'm going to go ahead and put that in. So this will actually make it much easier for you to access over the internet. And that's why I kind of took the time real quick to set up my account to make sure that we get that working. Check that again. Proceed anyway. Perfect. Not yet selected. So. Let's say I want to go to backup, so we'll click OK. 
Back, backups is selected. My desktop is going to be this right here. We'll click done. Click OK. And now let's just make sure it's working. So I'll apply. We're going to just close this out now. Minimize this window. We will now open the Cloud Station Drive here and see what happens. Cool. So we have Cloud Station Drive. We're in the folder. We'll click New Folder. Uh, test. No. Let's try that again. Oh, it's still downloading stuff. That's why. Oh, cool. So it's got the little check mark saying that it's that it's sunk between the two devices. Test folder. All right, so that should update pretty quickly, considering we're on the same network. We're going to go ahead and create a new text document. Test document. All right, looks like it's already synced up. Very cool. Now let's go ahead and check our NAS to see if we can find that those files. So we go to storage, backups, test folder, and it's all there. So that was pretty straightforward. So essentially what we did was download CloudStation server, installed it on the device on Synology. We then downloaded CloudStation sync for the computer. Uh, we then created a Synology account, linked that up with our Quick Connect. So logged into control panel, went to Quick Connect, enabled that feature, and then logged in with our Quick Connect account and our local account on the NAS um, and got it syncing. So what's really cool is you guys can do this now from the web as this allows you to sync back and forth. You can also do it from your phone as well. There is a cloud app with the phone too. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them below. Uh, like and subscribe and have a great day guys.